dragon's breath. <laughs> the Kinare always enjoy their metaphors. But what does it mean? Who knows? Kinari agents moving through Illuvians to attack the South is bad enough already. I still do not understand why they accused the Inquisition of serving Fenerel. We know that Mithal actually exists. It's possible Fenherel is still here in some form, too. What you describe in the ruins certainly implies that the Dread Wolf of Elven legend is a real person. But how does that implicate us? What made them decide that the Inquisition serves this Fenherel? Hopefully we will learn more after we have stopped them. Let's see the Exalted Council try to disband the Inquisition after we've saved them from this Dragon's Breath. We must find out what Dragon's Breath is first. For now, our only lead is the Canari leader, the Vidisala. Gentlemen! My apologies, Lady Josephine. There has been an incident with one of your soldiers. How dare you! It was bad enough that the Inquisition chose not to inform the Exalted Council of the Kunari Corps. Orle would have been happy to help with the matter. But now your own guards are attacking servants? You have overstepped your bounds. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, gentlemen. I'll see to this personally. Thank you, Inquisitor. Orle stands ready to assist the Inquisition, as always. Secrets and lies. Do you understand why we fear your Inquisition? You act as if you're the solution to every problem. How long before you drag us into another war? What's going on here? The Orlesians tried to take one of our people, Inquisitor. We've secured the area. This is the Winter Palace. You cannot simply seize control when one of your guards attacks a servant. The Inquisition is handling this. When some noble commits a crime of fashion, you can take over. I only asked what he was doing. And when I refused to bow to the Inquisition's dogs, you attacked me. How would you like us to handle the situation, Inquisitor? That barrel there, where did it come from? I was ordered to bring wine for the guests. You're lying. Your Inquisition soldiers are completely out of control. No, we're in control. Keep talking and you'll find yourself in chains. I apologize for my guard's actions. My people will take her into custody with your permission. As you say, Inquisitor, Lord Cyril will hear about this. Inquisitor, I also found this by the barrel. I can't read the language. Did you resolve the problem with the guard? The guard is the least of our problems. Someone smuggled Gatlock barrels into the Winter Palace. Smile, Inquisitor. There are many eyes upon us. At least now we know the true extent of the dragon's breath. How are you still smiling? Years of training as a bard, Inquisitor. We cannot show weakness now. Enemies could be watching, or we can let them see this idle conversation between two friends. You think the dragon's breath is these Gatlock barrels? Of course. A surprise attack, even through the Illuvians, would have met fierce resistance. But if everyone at the Exalted Council died in an explosion, the South would be rudderless, vulnerable to attack. This is what Corypheus should have done after the explosion at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. An attack as swift and unstoppable as the breath of a dragon. The guard who confronted the servant said she found this note near one of the barrels. It looks like Kunari writing. Let me see. I picked some up from the Iron Bull, though I'm told my accent is atrocious. These are orders for positioning the Gatlock in the palace. When duty has been performed, report to the Vidisala through the mirror marked by a bookcase. I've been hoping to meet the esteemed Vidisala. How nice of her to invite us over. Good. While you do that, I will have agents locate the Gatlock barrels and remove them safely. I will also send word to my foreign contacts. We must see where else this dragon could strike. Survivor of the Breach. Herald of Change. Hero of the South. The Vidasala, I presume. After fulfilling your purpose at the Breach, 
It is astonishing to hear you still walked free among your people. Your duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time to end your magic. The Anchor repairs tears in the Veil. I would think you'd approve of that. Is that all it does? Tell me, why hold your hand as if it's begun to pain you? I am no stranger to catastrophe, but this chaos in the South defies comprehension. The Kuhn left your people to curb your own magic. You've amply proven we should have stepped in long ago. Is that what Dragon's Breath is for? Murdering our heads of state just to control our magic? Do you believe closing the Breach solved everything? That its consequences stopped there? The day we saw the Breach, the Kuhn decided its action. We would remove your leaders and spare those who toil. This agent of Fenharel has disrupted everything. Lives that were to be spared, lost for him. Who is this agent? Why do you think they work for the Inquisition? Kill the Inquisitor, then follow me to the Dargarad. Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerin's palace? Yes, and in Valroyo and across the Free Marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. Oh, there is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. This is our fault. Fault? No. But our responsibility. <sighs> How did it happen? The elven servant handling the barrels has disappeared. Notes in his quarters suggest he was a Canari spy. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kuhn, trying to find a better life. And the Kinari turned them into spies. We can't change what happened. Only how we react to it now. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies! You hid the Kunari body. You've all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orle and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. It's been getting worse. I don't know why. I don't know how to stop it. I don't know how much time I've got left. What I do know is that the Kunari need to be stopped. So I need to get to the Darvarad while I can still fight. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana, I can... No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make a watch over you. Dragon's Breath is... An actual dragon? Tethar! Vaz! Inquisition! Nira Tathia Sara! Miravas Adim Kada! You have come far enough, Inquisitor. No more.
Dear Inquisitor, you have such little time left. You must finally see the truth. Elven magic already tore the sky apart. If the agents of Ben Harrell are not stopped, you will shatter the world as well. The Inquisition has nothing to do with these agents. Come, Inquisitor. I am the eyes and ears of the Canari people. Do you think you can deceive me? You would have died from the mark on your hand, but for the help of one of their chief agents. The same agent who helped seal the breach, who led you to Skyhold, who gave Corypheus the orb, then founded the Inquisition. Solus, agent of Fen Harel. What? Solus wanted that orb. If the agents of Fen Harel gave it to Corypheus, he couldn't be one. Or perhaps he was tasked with removing the evidence of his group's interference. Solus tricked us all. He pushed a dying Canari into the Winter Palace to lure you into opposing us. Without him, we could have brought the South peace and wisdom along the gentle path. Now we must take the way of blades. Panahedan, Inquisitor. If it is any consolation, Solus will not outlive you. Vita Sol is not killing Solus. I'm killing Solus. Come on. Ebersit kata etwa ost. Maras kata! Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. Solus. Should give us more time. I suspect you have questions. The Kunari answered some of those questions. The information I found while traveling through the Alluvians answered more. You're Fenharel. You're the Dreadwolf. Well done. I was Solus first. Fenharel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dreadwolf inspired hope in my friends and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. You also know the burden of a title that all but replaces your name. Our legends about you are wrong. I saw the truth as we traveled the crossroads. You saw another story, written in desperation to give me more credit than I ever deserved. You were a hero, Solus. I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fen Harel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus I freed the elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. You love the Fade. Why would you create the veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the veil, the Evanuris would have destroyed the entire world. You banished the false gods. You didn't kill them. You met Mithol, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanuris are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. You said that the elven gods went too far. 
What did they do that made you move against them? They killed me all. <laughs> Crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the Evaneris. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. The Evaneris were elven mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders, then kings, and finally gods, the Avenuris. Uh, how did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Viadathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade, all destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. It was me. The Veil took everything from the Elves. Even themselves. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Why does this world have to die for the Elves to return? A good question, but not one I will answer. You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this, but the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition, your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. The Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fen'Harel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheus should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died, and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the Veil, wouldn't the False Gods be freed? I had plans. I never thought of you as someone who would do that service. Thank you. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the Veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you? Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. Whatever your reasons, we couldn't have defeated Corypheus without you. Your doubts are misplaced. Everything you accomplished, you earned. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization. And now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep. The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. Why bother disrupting the Kunari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. 
I take no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kune. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. So you let us do your dirty work? The mistake was yours to fix, Inquisitor. You control the Illuvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Illuvians are now mine. There's still the matter of the anchor. It's getting worse. Yes, I'm sorry. And we are almost out of time. <laughs> The Mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. You don't need to destroy this world. I'll prove it to you. I would treasure the chance to be wrong once again, my friend. Take my hand. I'm sorry. Live well, while time remains. something must be done, but we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Canari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, you would not be alive to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor, you all know what this is? A writ from Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach Find those responsible and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. It wasn't a formally authorized treaty that saved Ferelden's people. It wasn't careful diplomacy that ended your inane civil war. It was never about the organization. It was about people doing what was necessary. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a world to save. Again. Effective immediately, the Inquisition is disbanded.
my agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself. If we can. Title. What are you even thinking? The sky churned like a rolling sea on a dark and stormy night, centered on a gaping hole that led to the ass end of nowhere. A hole that spit up many things that day comets, demons, and a whole lot of trouble. <gasps> it's about the Inquisition. The din of the tavern cut the silence like it owed the carter money. In the middle, in her element, Red Jenny. She looked me up and down, mostly down. Not playing, weirdy, she said, gesturing with and dismissively eating a sandwich. Don't write that. Seriously, piss up a robe. Sarah made the subtext text, which suited me fine. The court enchanter swirled into the room like a drop of beautiful poison spreading in a wine glass. She sized me up with a glance. I'm so glad you made it, my dear, she said. I am Madame de Fair, the most terrifying person you shall ever meet. Liliane enfolded Alphonse in an embrace as warm as a serpent's kiss. I always knew I could count on your support. The Count did not feel the bite of her poisoned dart until it was too late. Even if it requires your death. Drops of rain glistened on the griffin medallion grasped tightly in Blackwall's hand. The silver right wings of valor, they mean nothing. He flung the medal to the cold and uncaring ground. You don't know what I've done. You don't know me. <sighs> so romantic. Cole moved like a shadow that also moved like a knife. A shadow wearing a hat where dreams came to die. It's a riddle, he whispered. A cold riddle that gnaws at your mind, but you'll feel better when it's gone. That makes as much sense as anything Cole says. Do you place your herald above the law, Ambassador? Whose law, my lady? Josephine's eyes glittered like angry opals. The law destroyed by rebellion, by civil war, by poor fiscal management. We are the law. We left our mark on adamant, but the dust hadn't settled, and neither had Harding. I can offer you a drink, if I catch your meaning. If you'd caught my meaning, you'd have offered a double. What is even happening here? The Iron Bull was a great slab of muscle with horns that could hang a tapestry. One eye scanned for threats, while the other hid behind an eye patch like a Chantry sister's old sins. Come on, he barked, not looking back as he entered. The dancer with the great rack comes on in five. That is spot on, actually. 
The commander had the look of a Templar who had seen the worst of humanity, yet still had the time to style his hair. This is unjust a war, he said, his gaze steely like a dull blade. It's the only war. Cullen! That's Cullen! The mage wore a class of handsome sneer cultivated by a thousand years of Tevinter elitism. The name's Dorian, he glared. D-O-R-I-A-N. Spell it right, you marble-headed lump, or it's toad time. A toad? That's hardly credible. The bold elf spun, mage staff crackling like the city after a good man's murder. You're crazy, the Red Templar cried in terror. Moonlight glinted off ears like the knives you never see coming. Better to fade out than burn away. Ugh, Varric. Wait, where am I? I don't... Oh, here it is. The Seeker clutched at my vest, her tears as desperate as they were pitiful. Varric. I was wrong about everything, she sobbed. Could you find it in your noble heart to forgive me? That dwarf, he... he... he put me in the book! <laughs> I'm in the book! I am reading the shit out of this! <laughs>